What's up? We're Young Rising Sons, and this is A Sides with John Tapper. So this one was a, a little different from our, our previous EP because we had all the time in the world to put that together really. Um, with, with the Kids Will Be Fine, we were in and out of the studio um, between tours, between one-offs, and it was not, like, not, not necessarily a, a jumbled process, but um, just it, we didn't have like a block of time set aside. To, yeah, we were going like... That. We were just going full tilt, basically, you know, doing radio promo for high and doing all this stuff and touring nonstop. And then we would get home, we'd have like three days home and we'd be in the studio basically for those entire three days. Yeah. Um, and then we would have to keep doing that kind of between tours, between promo, so on and so forth. So uh, it was it was just different in the, in the fact that like we had to really be like, yeah, this this is awesome and we need to stick with this part and with this song because we didn't have time to like rethink and, and sit and kind of like stew on the songs and mm -hmm. so. But, yeah, I think it. I think it kind of helped with the creative process, though, being in the midst of a tour because you're you're out there, you're like living that experience, and those influences are directly affecting the, the creative process, which is actually really cool. And I think that's what the, the ultimate goal is when you're writing music. And here we go. Um. No, I, I think a lot of people can kind of take that as a naive statement, um, but our music, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's it's pretty optimistic, and there's there's that hopeful undertone um, within each song, I think, and you know, there's there's a lot of horrible things happening in this world, and it's it's a scary place that we live in right now, but um, the the thing is, if we don't remain hopeful, I, I, I don't know what else we have. Like that's, yeah. that's all we really have at the end of the day. Yeah. And it's cool too, like the kids that come on to our shows, you know, we, we talk to them, we meet every single fan like all the time, and uh, they're way smarter than us. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I feel like if they're, if they're like, you know, tomorrow's generation, then, then we're in good hands, despite all the shitty things going on. Um, smart, capable people are, are going to be leaving tomorrow. Well, the New Jersey Turnpike. That's like the worst yeah. part of New Jersey. How really. about Garden State Park? <clears throat> yeah, Garden State Park was amazing. But yeah. we can't, he's saying Turnpike, we're sticking to Turnpike, right? Jeez, Turnpike. <laughs> Rest stops. Rest stops. Uh, they all have Starbucks. Yes, that is true. There's a lot of Starbucks. Um, <clears throat> it... There's generally never traffic, right? Did I just make that up? I think you did. Yeah. I don't know. I get to Newark Airport in like 30 minutes. That's true. So that's always easy. That's true. Uh, Newark Airport is easy to get to <laughs> off of the traffic. <laughs> that's such a, like, it's a loaded question. Yeah. That's such a loaded question. They're like, yeah. <laughs> like, Defend New Jersey. Using the, the worst, worst part of New yeah. Jersey. <laughs> 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 There's not as many potholes as there are in New York. I can say that. Yeah, that's true. I can drive down the turnpike and I don't have to constantly be dodging potholes and like random pieces of vehicles like I do in, uh, in New York. Ooh, there's a truck's side and a car's side. That's true. So you don't have to drive. Yeah, trucks. you don't have to constantly be under like just the risk of getting murdered by a truck. Yeah. So you drive nice cars and other people on their cell phones. I think that's the only upside to the turnpike. That's it. I think so. No. I think Interscope, uh, since day one, and, and this is the reason why we went with them over other labels, was that they were just so willing to take exactly the product that we have and just amplify it and put it in front of more people. And they've, they've kind of stuck with us and consistently done that. And they've 
always like giving us the last say on everything that we wanted to do. It's different obviously being signed to a major label compared to us where we were a few years ago not being signed at all because it used to be the four of us just going, cool, we're going to do this and doing it. Now it's like an email chain with 60, 70 people on it, you don't know, but all of them are working with us and for us and they're always at the end of the day like, I can send an email anytime be like, I don't like this, Andy doesn't like this and they're always going to be supportive. So I don't really think it's changed. Yeah, too much. it's it's been great. It's we love them. It's an awesome home for us, I think. And um, I think they they trust our creative vision, um, which is really all we can ask. So it's been it's been great. Yeah, I mean you can you can learn a lot, especially from. So long. Yeah. Um, You've been crushing it for so long. It's it's kind of cool yeah. to not to cut you off. No, no, no. It's my favorite thing to do is cut Andy off. Um, we- Weezer in particular, they're one of those bands that like you you kind of like take a step back and you're like, holy, holy shit, it's fucking Weezer. And like they're everything they got going on, like their their whole touring situation, like they really know how to do everything right, and they kind of know how to how to situate <clears throat> like opening bands and like they they yeah. like yeah like, from their their performance. And their fans all the way down to like the production, the crew, of their team. Um, they're just they're pros, <laughs> and it, it really shows. Those rocks, those, those rock. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been it's been awesome. We've been really fortunate to be able to share the stage with some like amazing artists, and it's cool to kind of see how they do things, and it's kind of filtered its way down to. Yeah, us, I that's suppose now that we're doing our, our own headliner, we've been able to um, tailor it to exactly what we want based upon what we've learned from the like bands like that. Yeah, yeah. And other artists. And then that's, I mean, not even to mention that the fans are incredible too. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a really amazing experience. The, the rabid fan bases that we've gotten to play. There are no bad qualities about the podcast. (laughs) I just love it all. We're we're like freaks about, uh, especially Andy and I. We're like the best two probably to talk to about this. Like we start Christmas in like September. Um, It's bad. Everyone hates us for it. Actually, no, not really. We're on the bus and we're sharing it out uh, with the Mosers, and we've been playing Christmas music since. Like Literally the, since midnight the following Halloween, week. yeah. It was late, <laughs> like started immediately. We just I it. listen to it year round though, to be yeah, completely that's true. honest. That's it, true. I, I don't know what it is, but touring gets very stressful sometimes, and the only thing that makes me feel better is Frank Sinatra's Christmas album. <laughs> so I'll just like put that on while I'm in the shower or something and just like let it soothe me. We're back in the studio as soon as we finish this tour and or we've been, I don't know, like like I said with the kids will be fine, we didn't really have that like chunk of studio time, that big block where we got to get in the studio, really like dig in. So I, I am so excited to be able to do that. Yeah, this is like, we have basically all of December um, where we're gonna, we have a whole bunch of songs uh, already tracked and recorded and then we have so many other ideas and it's like, mm-hmm. for us the exciting part now I think is that like, we had all these songs that we thought would make the full length and had more time to write so much stuff that like we're gonna go back in and track all this new stuff that'll probably be even better and, and make the record as opposed to other songs. Yeah, which, song. is, which is cool. Nice. It's been really good to have that time to, to do a full length because we want to give our fans uh, the best we can, yeah. we can give them. So um, they they certainly deserve that. We're really excited to, to get in there. Like just yeah. basically, like you said, just sit down, and dig in, and just write and. Record best sounds, the best songs, the best yeah. everything we want to get. There's a lot of exciting ideas we have, so definitely looking forward to it. Alright, if there's any advice I could give you, don't listen to Andy. <laughs> um, my best advice would be uh, listen to your parents and appreciate the time you have with them and don't be embarrassed by their existence because someday they're not going to be around. That's yeah, like the that's best great advice nice. I can give you. Because yeah. growing up, like, I, my parents would be, like, the coolest, they would always drive me to shows and, like, be the, 
the best parents in the world, and whenever they drop me off, they'd be like, "All right, bye, I love you," and I'd be like, "Yeah, whatever." Like, I don't know you because I was embarrassed. And yeah, now I'm like, Fuck, should just like that. the people, yeah, <laughs> just the people you love in general. Just show it. <laughs> yeah, there's no, yeah. I don't know. Also, don't play in a band; it's the worst. Uh, <laughs> no, it's awesome. Do it. Pick a pick up an instrument, start playing it. Yeah. Um, try and sing like Andy. Uh, and be a better drummer than me because I'm just like a marshal. Marshal can sing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's good advice. Right. Young Rising Suns, everything. So twittercom slash Suns, Instagram is Young Rising Suns. Um, our website's youngrisingsons.com. So pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. Give it a give it a Google if you can't find us. It's S O N S. Yeah. Don't, we're not like the sun or someone's sons. Yes. <laughs>